Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. I, Colorful Artie, am here once again to help you out in case you are having trouble with some of these Zumbini puzzles. So today, we're going back to Titanic Tattooed Toads on Oh So Hard. So this way, we get to show off the algorithmic solution on how to solve this. And once again, if you're kind of new here, the algorithmic solution is just a very simple solution where you follow a set of rules every single time, and you will guaranteed get to the end. And it doesn't involve using previous runs data in carving the solution. All right, let's go back to Titanic Tattooed Toads, and here we've got the fairy. So this starts out exactly the same as the first uh, solution. Start with the colors and try to find the paths across that are already carved out. So no luck with red, but luck with white. All right, let's send white toad across. How about orange? Yes, orange has a path across. How about purple? Purple does not quite have a path across. Oh, and white actually doesn't have quite of a path across. Well, let's fix that, shall we? And to help purple get across as well, we'll swap this with a purple lily pad. How about this one? So now we'll send purple across. And our goal for this algorithm, don't use any of the lily pad shaped toads. Because that's no fun. All right, and now let's carve a path across for red. So now we can send red across, and now we can send white across again. How about blue? Blue doesn't quite have a path across. Let's fix that. And now we'll send blue across. Purple wants another go. And once all the color frogs are done, that's when we'll worry about the flower-shaped ones. But the reason we want to keep get those off is in case we have to swap lily pads, we don't have to worry about swapping ones with a different color, because then if we do that while these toads are currently on, they might get stuck and we'll have to swap again, and that just wastes magic power, and you only have a limited amount. You have a generous amount, but it's still limited. And we want, uh, in this algorithm, to kind of minimize how much of that we use. All right, so once those toads have finished going across, we'll start looking for... Actually, let's look now. So... We almost have an X path across. We'll just have to swap a few lily pads out. How about diamonds? Uh, yes, it looks like we have a path across for the diamonds. That's nice. How about flowers? X's and flowers we almost have a path across for, so... Swap that with that. Alright, flower, 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 flower. Then we'll swap that one with a flower as well. And that one with a flower. Alright, cool. Got a path across for the flowers, and we have a path across for the X's. That's a convoluted flower path, indeed, but it works. And that's what really matters. <laughs> so as you can see, very simple algorithmic solution to this level. Almost no different from the not-so-easy level. It's just using the magic wand kind of sparingly, just when you need to. Okay, don't tell me that that guy is stuck, because I can see a path across for him. You just need to go down here and do a little whoop de woo Okay, no. I guess me using the magic wand for these guys' path kind of disturbed him and made him go backwards. Alright. So then we'll just set him back on his little tile, and that'll be level solved. So once again, very simple level. I really like this. And I honestly think that it is slightly easier than the not-so-easy solution, just because if you make a mistake on not-so-easy, guess what? Tough luck. You lose a Zumbini. But here, if you make a mistake, you can just pull out your trusty little magic wand and fix your mistake. And I think that's a better metaphor for life in general. If you make a mistake, just own up to it, do your best to fix it, and more often than not, everything turns out alright. 
Whereas in, <laughs> in Not So Easy teaches you, oh, did you make a mistake? You're screwed. That's Whoa! no fun. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be showing off that algorithmic solution for the very, very hard rank because, once again, very hard and very, very hard are identical. So I will just be combining those into one video. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.